Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. Call me like a cherry pony. Call me like a cherry pony. Your boy done switched up on you. Call me like a cherry pony. Tell me I'm gonna have to empty something out of the off of there. Got a lot on there. So you can do it here? No. I'm gonna shoot the video. I'll do it after this here. I'll do the immediately after this. Alright. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. You guys know. If this is your very first time in this channel, round that subscribe for us. And after you subscribe, make sure you hit that notification bell. Beside the word subscribe so that you will be notified each and every time that we upload a video. And then welcome to this great, 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 great family. Now that you're a part of it, there's some things that we do, and we do them every day because they help us grow. Those things are comment, 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 like, and share, and go on, take for the team. Comment, like, and share, and go on, take for the team. Comment, like, and share, and don't forget to comment, like, and share. Comment, like, and share. Comment, like, and share. Don't forget to comment, like, and share. Comment, like, and share. Comment, like, and share. Don't forget to. Don't forget to comment, like, and share. Okay, y'all, check this out. We're going to pray. We're going to get into the goodness. Here we go. Hey, man, how y'all doing today? How y'all doing today? How y'all doing today? Over here to the side. Big Ben is in the building, baby. Big Ben is here. Big Ben is here to help us out because we finna get to eating. So today, uh, Big Ben has diet um, Mountain Dew in him today. Let's see if he's nice and fresh. Uh, he is. Okay, guys, if you guys want your body your lips hot sauce, I think we have a little over 20 left. Uh, go ahead and get you one. There's a link in the description right below where you can get your lips hot sauce and your lips merch. Okay, so you guys, today for the food. All right, what we have is the ultimate crab salad. That's what we got. So we got lettuce and we've got um, uh, two different kind of lettuces in here. Iceberg and the leaf lettuce is also in here. We've got black olives. We've got ham. We've got imitation crab. we got eggs. Uh, we got seaweed, we got bacon bits, and we have crab salad that's already made here at the top. That's what we got. We're going to be using Hidden Valley Ranch salad dressings, what we're going to be using. I'm going to be very, very careful, y'all, because all this white with the lights. The light don't like the white, but we're going to get it together, so I'm going to have to make sure I be careful with this dressing back here, honey, so it won't wash out for you. How about that? How about that? All right. So. Let's get to eating. Let's get to eating. Y'all, I had to go and put some pep up here, y'all. I had to go lighter today. I have been having, like, um, uh, I just been bloated the last couple of days. So I decided to do some light. Give me some light. Put some light in there. You know, put some light in there. <laughs> For real. I could be eating all of it today, honey. Not today. That the first bite. There you go. Mm-hmm. Mmm, 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 Cucumbers in here too, if I didn't say that. They are. Mmm. 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 Y'all already made crab salad. Bacon bits and ranch dressing. Mmm. Sometimes I put a banana pepper in there or two, you know. Mmm. Mmm. I love me a salad, though. Mmm. Mmm. I've always did salads on my channel. A lot of people, mm, you know, don't do salads on their show. Mm, mm. Because normally, we have some seaweed over here, y'all. Normally, the healthier videos, mm -mm. Mm, mm. Well, people don't want to watch that. They don't. Mm-hmm. 
Mmm. 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 But on this channel, mmm. We've already been successful on this channel when the status go. But I need some salt, please. Mmm. -hmm. Status have always been successful on this channel, honey. Mmm, 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 mmm. I don't know if it's because I put so much in it or what. I don't know. Mmm. Oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, I picked up the pepper from right here beside the salt and pepper shaker. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Anywho, because you get it. I know you do. Anyway. Mmm. Um, um, I love crab salad. I love it. You know my favorite place to get it from is um, Piccadilly's. Mm. Mm hmm. Crab salad is just where it's at, honey. Let it Mmm. Mmm. And this actually worked out really, really good because. I have like a um, mm, lunch slash business meeting I have to go through. Mm, 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 mm. In a couple of hours. Mm. And, you know, now with eating a salad, now I still baby, you know, give me a little appetizer or something, you know. Mm, mm. Mm-hmm. Have a few drinks. Mm. Mm. Depending on the mood, you know, and how my stomach feels. Mm. I actually may just go ahead and do a live mug on there while I'm there with y'all. And save this video for tomorrow. Mm. 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 Mm hmm Mmm. 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 Either way. Mmm. It's all a plan to make a show that you get a bitch out. Mmm. Mmm. That you get a video. Mmm. Mm. So y'all, I go ahead and let you know, cause we're already in the process of buying tickets and, um, you know, booking rooms and things, stuff, stuff like that. I go ahead and let y'all know we will be returning to Vegas September the twelfth. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. We'll be going back to Vegas, honey. Mm. And I'm so ready. I am. Mmm. Mmm. I'm so ready. Now, I know some of y'all are saying, <laughs> hey, it's true. Mm-hmm. I know some of y'all are saying, well, you were just talking about how happy you was to get home, and I am. Uh, leave me alone. <laughs> mm hmm just share the video. Well, I'm not dead. Just share the video. Okay. <laughs> but, mm -hmm, I was ready to be home. I was. But Vegas is such an amazing trip to take. You know, it's such an amazing place to go to. And, um, you know, mm, 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 mm. I told my husband, when we came out down there last year. I may have just uh, discussed with y'all too. We'll probably take that trip every year. We probably will. Mm -hmm. That'll probably just be a standing trip for us to go to Vegas. Mm -hmm. Like, I enjoy that energy there so much. Mm -hmm. I did. I enjoyed the energy. You know? Everybody got something to do and they worry about what you doing. You know! 
I love that energy. Mm-hmm. You know, even though stuff happens everywhere in the world. Um, you know, Las Vegas has its own residents that stay there. Um, but what I'm saying is, by being such a tourist place, mm, probably every day, you're going to... Mmm. 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 That bite got good. You're probably 70% of anyone that you meet or that you do meet are excluding the employees everywhere you go. You know, take them out. But at least 70 75% of the people that you're going to come across, mmm, while you're in Vegas, they could be tourists just like you, you know, you know, trying to get somewhere else, trying to see something, trying to do something with their family or go gambling or whatever they're doing, but they got their own agenda of what they got going on. They not studying you, you know. I just like that energy. I did. I, I love that energy. Ugh. Excuse me, y'all. I'm so sorry. I love that energy. And I'm ready to go back. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm ready to go back. Mm-hmm. 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 First y'all, but anyway, how y'all doing today? Mm-hmm. 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 I got this morning. I laid around and tried to be laid up uh, for a little bit. Right quick, you know. Mm. Mm. But I got it together. I recovered very really soon. And got it up. And went outside to do my exercise. Mm. Mm-hmm. And Talked on the phone with Spring Christine. That was such a lovely conversation we had today. I called her and check on her and the family. Mm. Mm-hmm. I did. And we're having a little outing mm, this week on Thursday. Mm. Mm. With two Legion members that. Mm, we met in person uh, at the meet and last year. So that should be amazing. Um, mm-hmm. mm. I'm sure we'll go live with something another uh, then. The seaweed, I shouldn't put it with in the front. I should have put it in the bag. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Mm-hmm. So that should be really, really fun. You know, a couple of hours this week. Mm. 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 But you know, mm. y'all, the summer, for people in this part of the world, you know, at least down south for sure, um, you know, summer vacation is over with y'all. I know. Here in Georgia, all the kids go back somewhere uh, between the 1st and the 8th. If I'm not mistaken, I think that I read it, they said in Georgia, all schools will be back in by the 8th, I think. I'm almost certain it's what I read, though. Something like that, but anyway, down south, mostly all of our kids are back in school. So... How are you guys adjusting to that? They remember a couple of days, because they remember two days for me. A day the second day. Mm-hmm. Got Pusha went back August 1st. Mm-hmm. Mm. So how are you adjusting? You know, or are you ready? Were you ready? Mm. Mm. You know, what you want them parents 
they still looking for a few things on the school supply list because you were too busy, you know? Folks be busy. Mm-hmm. Mm. And then when you finally do make time to get it done, you get out there and you can't find what you need. Been there, done that. Mm-hmm. I'm been there, done that, honey. Well, you know, everybody don't got everything. You got to wear the shipment is coming here or try to go to this store over here and all that. It gets frustrating. Mm. 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 Speaking of frustration, I'm going to tell y'all something. For real. All you pet owners that have dogs and you live in communities or you're taking your dog with you to the mall and because now mm, mm, you can take your animal anywhere. I don't matter where you're going, what you're doing, you know, they are not going to say anything to you about your animal. I don't care where you're going. Walmart, it doesn't matter. They're not going to say anything to you about your animal. Okay, so, mm, you can take the animal everywhere. Okay. Mm-hmm. I was a dog owner for many, many years. 12, 13 years with just two single animals, and I had animals before that. Mm. So I understand how you love your animal. That's your animal. Your affection with your animal. Wood, wood, wood. I get that. But look, your animal ain't my animal, ma'am. Sir, that ain't my animal. If you live in a community, whether it be apartments, apartment homes, houses, a community, you know, and you have an animal, take care of your animal, honey. You know, we get it. My animal has to go to the bathroom outside. We get it. All right? But if you have a pet, a part of being able to afford a pet is to be able to afford the bags to pick up your animal's uh, waist, honey. Y'all, I, I was talking to Hashtag Cans about this the other day because people just get beside themselves with their animals. Be courteous to other people. You go up like to a pet car or pet land or something like that, another where well, well, you know what animals would be coming. They got stands outside. With bags. You know what I'm saying? I was talking here to the camera. Even he done witness people at these type of prices. Bring that animal up to the stand, the very stand, where the bags are. And they animal use the restroom right there in front of the store at the stand where the bags are and still don't get up there. Oh, glory! Yo. And then if you live in an apartment or apartment homes or in um, you know where there's a multi-unit uh, type uh, facility where you have neighbors just like on top of you besides you and know, all that kind of stuff and y'all have a common area out there where the, the dog use the restroom, pick your stuff up and you know somebody window is over there where you letting your dog use the restroom up. Oh. I just think that it's so rude. I do. I think that it's so rude. I really do. And the reason why I think it's so rude is most people <clears throat> who have animals, who actually need animals like for disability, you know, support animals, stuff like that, 99% of the time, those people who truly need that animal to be in public. They need what emotional support, um, animal or whatever. You know, like handicapped people or people that have suffering with their hearts or have seizures. Those are a lot of different um reasonings for, you know, support animals. 
you know, they use support animals for anxiety disorders or there's a whole bunch of reasons why you are now available to have your animal and take your animal to anywhere. Okay. 99% of the time, the people who actually need the animal to be with them, excuse me y'all, there's some legs in my teeth, wherever they are, those people are going to pick up the stuff. When that animal uses the restroom, they're going to pick it up. You know what I mean? People who actually need these animals to be in these places with them, they're really, really responsible. It's all the other folks who just take advantage of that can take that animal with them because of these other reasons that other people have that won't clear behind their animals. In my experience, that's how it is. If you didn't want to reach down and pick a big stool of a, from an animal, why did you buy one that was going to make it? Uh, duh. Unless you at your own house where other people ain't around you and your, your animal can go outside and do the want to do and do the want to do, you may not care nothing about running through the grass where your animal doesn't use the restroom. I don't know. But what I do know is I don't want to. Oh. Lord have mercy. Mm -mm -mm. I thought about this because I know where we're going. Mm. Do this business mean that? Mm. Mm. We're going to be in a such place. You know, where people frequently bring their animals. Anyway. Y'all. Be courteous to everybody else. Everybody else don't love your animal. You know what I mean? Me, myself, personally, I'm not studying it. Because I don't have one to be have to look after right now. I'm not studying the animal. Okay. I'm not. But I just know that it's really, really rude. When I did have an animal, I was not going to bring my dog to your property and let my dog use the restroom on your property. I wasn't going to do that. Anybody walking across the street, walking him down the street, and my dog wants to go to try to use the restroom, I will still pull it out of your out of your yard. You know, you don't just let your animal. Uh, Y'all get the picture. No, these people. But people, I'm, I don't understand why people don't. I just, just I really don't even understand <laughs> why I'm on the conversation. But still, yet yeah, maybe if you hadn't thought about it, think about it. Uh, that just gets under my skin. Folks don't take care of their animals who come to that kind of stuff. Oh. Mm -mm. Anyhow. I got off track. Y'all. Mm. August is here now. We're going to have to suffer some more through August, y'all. Here in this part of the South. September. We'll start being where we have some cooler days. You know, it'll still be hot. But. Mm. Known about September. You know, it ain't the heat on hell outside every day. You may still have some hot days, but not every day just being exhaustingly hot. And we've been having some showers. We've been having some showers, y'all. Are y'all getting the rain where y'all are? Well, I know a couple of people, even here in Georgia, uh, Rachel was even saying well, she's only about two, two and a half hours away from us. Uh, still in Georgia, though. Um, but she was saying that they had had any rain, that it's been a drought where she is. So, um, how is the situation going on with y'all? Um, as far as rain and droughts and stuff like that, because I haven't been, I ain't been watching no news, y'all. I ain't been telling no lie. I don't know what shape the world is in. I doubt. I don't. I really, really don't. Other than what y'all tell me, I hadn't even been. Anyhow. Um, are y'all getting the rain where y'all are? I hope so. Because the crops and the flowers and things and stuff and all that kind of stuff need some water. And then it's hot. It's hot. I remember the other day, we were talking, we was on a live, and Yolanda was saying that it had rained there and cooled everything down. And the cool down there in Texas 
was still 93 or 94 degrees. That's the cool down, y'all. Because it's been hot in Texas. Mm hmm. Mm. Yeah, I just like to got you, boy. You know, I'm gonna be in my teeth. But anyway, um, it's been hot in Texas, y'all. Like triple digits, blistering triple digits, 107, 110. If the regular temperature is 102, 104, 107, what is the feel like? 120? Oh, baby, I can't, I, I can't, I can't visit Texas in some time, baby. Mm. Well, I think I probably could. I think I probably could. Um, but not to do no events. Mm -mm. We ain't going to no water parks or no, you know, amusement parks or fairs. Or, uh uh. We ain't doing none of that. Mm -mm. Count me out. Mm -mm. Count me out. All the night functions, I'm now. But anything in the daytime with temperatures like that, count me out, honey. I ain't coming. Don't even look for me. Uh uh. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. Because last year we went to Vegas. We went in September, the end of September. It was 700 degrees down there. It was. So I could only imagine. Going to Vegas like now. You know what I mean? Between mid June and mid June or the end of July, baby. Mm -mm. That ain't the trip to plan for that time of the year, honey. Uh uh. Ooh. We're going actually two weeks earlier this week or this year than we did last year. And I remember last year people saying, you know, if you think it's hot now, you should have been here a little while earlier. I hope this ain't finna be the while earlier right now. You know, oh, y'all. Take care of yourself. Make sure you stay hydrated. Um, be praying for us all, <laughs> wherever you are. Because on a different spectrum, the people that live like in Antarctica, you know, very, very extreme cold places like that. On a different side of the spectrum, I mean, people die there too from the other extreme. So, no matter where you are, be involved with your neighborhood. Make sure that you're taking appropriate steps for yourself and your family and whatever that you're going through. And y'all, I'm going to tell you something else too. Y'all, mask, sanitizer. If you think about it, it's many places that you've seen me and my family go since COVID has started. You've always seen us protect ourselves. You've always seen us have Lysol in the vehicle or wherever we're going to spray it. You've always seen us with masks on when we place us. You've always seen us with sanitizer on deck no matter where we at. You guys, please, 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 please take care of yourself. Be careful. Be very aware of what's going on. I ain't watched the news in a minute, but I know what's out there as far as, you know, the CDC and stuff like that because I get alerts on my phone. But what I'm saying is, you guys, protect yourself and protect your family. This is really, really, really important because I just today have found, for the first time since all that was going on, I know someone who just recently got over heavy monkeypox. Y'all, stay away from folks. Okay? There's more out there now with the 12 different Corona and her sisters, because when she came, she brought the whole family. She brought all the sisters. And we ain't seen no brothers yet, but she brought all the sisters. You know what I mean? But it's a lot going on out there, y'all. Monkeypox is out there, and it's real. I just found out today someone that I know uh, that has actually been to my home uh, since I've been here in Atlanta. They have been to my home since I've been here in Atlanta that have had monkeypox. Just got over it. And uh, there's some kind of way there's a correlation between monkeypox and walking pneumonia. So it's a really, really multiple type fight thing once you get that. Okay, y'all. Uh, they're saying that this monkeypox and stuff is coming from bedding, from sheets, from contact of furniture, stuff like that. Uh, or it can be transmitted or at least somebody sneezes and get it on you and stuff like that. It can be. Uh, but most likely it's going to be from pillowcases. So you, I, 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 I'm paraphrasing that, y'all. But I'm being told that it's coming like from places like spas 
and stuff that may not, you know, through physical contact type things. Um, of course, you get your man stolen, you ain't got to worry about it getting you this way. But it can be, what I'm trying to say is take, take all that back that I just said. Because I don't know the specifics of it all. But I do know that this monkeypox, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken, is a more physical type touch thing. Uh, you know, physically. Uh, as far as, I don't know. Check into it for yourself. Let me say it like that. Because my understanding of it, now that I'm talking to you about it, is very cloudy in my own head. But for some reason, it's got something more to do with, it can be transmitted by physical touch. I don't know. Anyway, check it out. Okay. You go find out for yourself, and I'm going to go and dig into it today myself, now that somebody that I know um, that has been in my home has had it. I need to be a, get more abreast myself on how better to take care of my family. That's all what I'm trying to say anyway. So get all that there out of the way. That's what I'm trying to say. Research this thing about this monkeypox because it's even here in Georgia, in my own area, okay? Um not that I felt like it wouldn't be or couldn't be, just that I just didn't know. But now I know I'm finna go check that thing out. So anyway, take care of yourself, take care of your family, take care of all that kind of stuff, because that's important. Y'all gotta go. I ain't gonna be no after this, after I do all this, I ain't gonna be none of that because I need to go get dressed and everything. I gotta let my stomach cool down, you know, rest a little ties. Oh, oh, for real. Cause my stomach be all, I hate going somewhere, y'all, right after I eat. When my stomach all poked out and all, oh my God, I hate that. But anyway, I gotta go. So I ain't finna do no more talking. See, I'm finna, see how I'm finna, I'm sorry. You see what I'm finna, you see how I'm finna do it again? I'm finna come right back at you with a do 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 Anyway, I'm finna go, y'all. I love you guys so much. I truly sure, sure do. Talk about New Legion. Thank you guys so, so much for being here. We truly appreciate each and every one of you. Because you didn't have to be here. You could have chose me with us in the world. But you chose to be right here with us, and we love you for it. Mm -hmm. Time like this, Lee J. Hey, round and round we go. Hey, round and round we go. I love you guys so, so much. And I'm going to see you guys next time, okay? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. You guys look, always remember that there's always more than one way home. All you have to do is get there. So get there, people. Get there. I love y'all. And I'm going to see you guys next time. And if you're not going to watch me next time, you have lied to me. And I know you lied. Period. Ha <laughs> ha. Bye bye. I'm gone, y'all.